This is the clamping cell for the Surpass electrokinetic analyzer. It's a measuring cell for analyzing flexible surfaces such as polymer foils or rigid samples such as semiconductor wafers. A great advantage of this cell is that it leaves a lot of space for your sample, so you can clamp in an entire wafer without destroying it, for example. This video is to show you how to mount your sample in the clamping cell and how to mount the cell in Surpass. We are going to mount a flexible polymer foil. The samples are ideally mounted using a double-sided adhesive tape. Cut out the piece you need. Attach the tape to the back side of your sample, not the side with the active surface you want to measure, but the other side. Then cut out your sample so you have the size you need. Now you are going to punch two holes in your sample, the openings you need for your streaming channel. This punching tool allows you to punch out the exact holes you need. Place the cutout sample in the punching tool with the active surface facing up. Now you can use the measuring cell as a vise to punch in the holes. The normal pressure you apply for a measurement is not enough. Use this small wrench to tighten the knob. Now your sample is punched through. Release the compression and disassemble the punching tool. Now you have two holes in your sample, the two openings for the electrolyte feed. Remove the protective cover of the adhesive tape and stick the sample onto the clamping cell insert. Be sure to align the holes of the sample and the insert. This area here is where your measurement will take place, so you need to create a measuring gap where the electrolyte can stream through. To generate this measuring gap, you attach a so-called spacer to your sample. Prepare a second piece of sample and attach it to the planar side of this support plate here. Then place the support plate with the second sample on top of your first sample with the spacer. Now you have created a sample stack with a measuring gap between two sample surfaces. Place this sample stack into the recess of the clamping cell. The elevated areas of the support plate have to be on top to ensure that the applied pressure is evenly distributed. Now tighten the knob until the integrated friction clutch restricts any further compression. So, now your sample is fully mounted in the clamping cell. The cell can now go into the analyzer. Place the measuring heads in the cell, red on the left, blue on the right. You can mount the clamping cell horizontally or vertically. Vertical mounting has the advantage of easy air removal for filling and rinsing. Now you can close the cover and proceed with preparing your measurement.